F322, Unit 2, Module 3, Energy. Enthalpy, H, is the heat content that is stored in a chemical system. Exothermic. This is a reaction in which the enthalpy of the products is smaller than the enthalpy of the reactants, resulting in heat loss to the surroundings. Delta H is negative. Endothermic. A reaction in which the enthalpy of the products is greater than the enthalpy of the reactants, resulting in heat gain from the surroundings. Delta H is positive, as heat is taken in from the surroundings. Enthalpy profile diagrams. These are diagrams for a reaction to compare the enthalpy of the products with the enthalpy of the reactants. When you're drawing the enthalpy profile diagrams, make sure you label the axes. The y-axis is energy and the x-axis is progress of reaction. Make sure you also label the reactants and the products. The activation energy is the minimum energy required to start a reaction by the breaking of bonds in the reactants. This is a common exam question. Standard conditions. These are 100 kilopascals or 1 atmosphere, usually a temperature of 298 Kelvin, which is 25 degrees C, and if it's a solution, it's 1 mole per dm cubed as a concentration. A standard state is the physical state of a substance under the standard conditions of 100 kilopascals or 1 atmosphere and 298 Kelvin. The standard enthalpy change of reaction, delta HR, is the enthalpy change that accompanies a reaction in the molar quantities expressed in a chemical equation under standard conditions, all reactants and products being in their standard states. This is, again, another common exam question. Standard enthalpy change of combustion, delta HC, is the enthalpy change that takes place when one mole of a substance reacts completely with oxygen under standard conditions, all reactants and products being in their standard states. Again, this is a common exam question. The standard enthalpy change of formation, delta HF, is the enthalpy change that takes place when one mole of a compound is formed from its constituent elements in their standard states under standard conditions. Note that the enthalpy change of formation of an element is zero kilojoules per mole. Specific heat capacity, C. This is the energy required to raise the temperature of one gram of a substance by one degree C. Water has a specific heat capacity of 4.18 joules per gram. The bond enthalpy is the enthalpy change that takes place when breaking, by homolytic fission, one mole of a given bond in the molecules of a gaseous species. Again, another common exam question. The average bond enthalpy is the average enthalpy change that takes place when breaking, by homolytic fission, one mole of a given type of bond in the molecules of a gaseous species. 
Hesse's law. If a reaction can take place by more than one route and the initial and final conditions are the same, the total enthalpy change is the same for each route. Enthalpy cycle. A diagram showing alternative routes between reactants and products which allows the indirect determination of an enthalpy change from other known enthalpy changes using Hesse's law. Heterogeneous catalysis is catalysis of a reaction in which the catalyst has a different physical state from the reactants. Usually the reactants are gases and the catalyst is a solid. Homogeneous catalysis is catalysis of a reaction in which the catalyst has the same physical state as the reactants. Usually the reactants and catalysts are in aqueous or gaseous state. Le Chatelier's principle states that when a system in dynamic equilibrium is subject to a change, the position of the equilibrium will shift to minimise the change. Another common exam question. Dynamic equilibrium. This is the equilibrium that exists in a closed system when the rate of the forward reaction is equal to the rate of the reverse reaction. This concludes this topic. Thanks for watching.